Good evening, LTL Nation. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Anita and this is Life Talks Like. What ignites that spark in you? What makes you jump out of the bed in the morning? What makes you drive towards your goal consistently? Let's get down to the real stuff. We are talking here about motivation. The global workforce has published a report that 63% of the employees worldwide are not properly engaged at the workplace, which means they lack motivation and they lack drive. Ouch. That's quite a huge number. Now, are you one of these people? Are you? I certainly have been. For years and years, I've been one of these employees going to work because it pays the bills. Now, will I tell you a little trick about what has changed? I have changed my mindset towards it. I have made a conscious decision that I want to motivate myself each and every day to change and to do and to take actions towards what it is that I want to achieve. Now, moderation or motivation, it was almost the same word, you might not believe it. Both derives from the same Latin word, movere, which means to move. And why do I like to always find the inheritance of words? Because the moment you understand the root of a word and the real meaning of a word, it helps you understand what it actually means in your life. In our case, it means no motivation, no movement. You see, motivation is like the fuel to your motor. Without it, your car really won't get far. And what happens even if you fill it up? It gets empty after some time, so you have to refill it again and refill it again. So commitment and consistency are two of the crucial key factors in maintaining your motivation. Commitment helps you to get started. Consistency helps you to keep going. There are many factors as to how, can we, how we can perceive motivation and reach motivation. There are external factors and internal factors. But the real key is the motivation that comes from inside. Because external factors, if we go back to the workplace, if you, for example, have an incentive of getting a promotion or getting the pay rise you've been looking for, this motivation is going to get you that far until you get that goal. And when you get that goal, you will need to have another one because that need is basically fulfilled in that moment. But self-motivation, commitment and consistency, it's something that has no deadline. It keeps you going throughout your life to achieve the goals that you want to achieve. But you can't fool yourself because if you're just willing to motivate yourself, it's not going to last. You have to really make the decision that you have to motivate yourself. And you can find different ways in doing that. If it's a piece of music, it motivates you. If it's motivational speakers like Life Talks Live that you're, for example, listening to you that help you get that motivation. Whatever it is, do that every single day for you. I wake up every day, for example, and tell myself, today something amazing is going to happen. Now I know it might sound a bit corny to you, but it does really work. Motivation is a result of habit and doing. So you gotta consistently do that for yourself. It is really what drives us in our lives, no matter what we are trying to achieve. I have asked LTL, what motivates you? And one of our amazing followers has answered me that today, and I would really like to read that to you. Mustafa Temsa has said, and I think it's really beautiful, usually gratitude is what fuels my motivation externally. But when I do lack external factors, music is what keeps me going on and on. I tend to self-motivate myself in more situations than others to do so. Motivation for me is the tiny spark that sets us into an unstoppable fireball that makes us achieve things you can't usually do. Wow. Thank you, Mustafa, so much for these words. I believe that these words might ignite some spark in you as well. And it shows you that each one of us has its tools and has their own ways in achieving their motivation. Life cannot go on without it. Your motivation, your motive is what keeps you going. 
and it's what you do daily. So even for example, if you're going to buy food, your motivation behind this is to eat, is to do something. If you're going to do sports, your motivation is to exercise, to do sports and to be fit. So motivation is a key element, but unfortunately still so many people are lacking motivation. And I'm talking about self-motivation. And it's really easy to do that. It's just a trick that you can play with your mind. Because our thoughts are having reflexes in our biochemistry. And whatever we think about, it either gives us energy or it moves the energy away from us. So you can choose which kind of energy you want to have with you. Whether you're doing motivational speaking for yourself and affirmations for yourself on a daily basis, that is a huge trick that can help you. You can put, for example, post-its in your apartment and read them to yourself every day. You can listen to motivational speakers. For example, all the biggest motivational speakers out there, like for example, Tony Robbins, they all have hit at one point rock bottom in their life. And I don't know personally one person that is strong, that has not hit rock bottom. But all these people have one thing in common. They motivated themselves out of it. It takes really hard work to motivate yourself when your tough times are coming and circumstances around you are not easy. But this is the key in motivation. It is about igniting that spark in you when everything around you seems to be difficult and finding a way to move through it and to go towards your goal. I know many people that do not have self-motivation and they rely on other people to help them to get there. Now this is again an external factor and it can help you in that moment. But when you understand that it is a mindset that you put yourself into and that you can work on every day, this is where motivation really kicks in. If you are not motivated to do things, you won't be doing them. It's a no-brainer. But if you do want to do something, but you just don't know how to get there, and you don't have the drive, and you don't really know how you can pursue that, then it's time to find ways for yourself to do it. There is no one size fits all. So you got to find your own ways of motivating yourself. But start with making a conscious decision that you want to do so and change your life. Because you will reap the benefits. If you don't motivate yourself, you will reap the benefits right now because your situation ain't going to change. But if you keep motivating yourself, you will reap the benefits sometime later. So thank you very, very much for tuning in to my talk tonight. I hope I can motivate you a little bit. Please feel free to share with us your comments the same way Mustafa did. We love to hear from you and we love to understand how you motivate yourself. Please tune in tomorrow when Omar and Duna are going to take on motivation. Visit us on our website at lifetalkslife.com. Go to our social media pages, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram account. I'll see you next week. God bless you and have a beautiful evening. Goodbye.